Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Retro Breaks. I'm your host, Jeremy, along with... Toby. And Toby, it's mail day. We literally just sat down to make our new video. We haven't made a video in probably, I don't know, a week maybe? And uh, before we started, we got some mail, and I wanted to showcase the mail before we start our actual video today. We're not going to open anything from this box, but we are going to show our viewers what we picked up uh, this week. A uh, really sweet deal I found on good old, good old eBay. Let's get the box out of the way. And here we go. What we have here is that right there. That is a 19 uh, trash alley, 1987 cello box. We're going to be breaking some of these. I'm not going to be breaking all of them, but we just want to showcase. Let's see what we have. I do know two of the packs have uh, two Hall of Famers on top, but I have not seen the the bottom of these. So here is a cello box of 1987, and you can see right there, we've got Barry Larkin, rookie card, and Reggie Jackson on there. Um, I'm not going to look at the back yet. Here we have uh, Dwight Gooden. Um, we've got uh, Frank Pastor. Rick Gossage, so another Hall of Famer. That's three Hall of Famers we got there. Uh-oh, we got some. There's another maybe Hall of Famer there, too. Um, Donnie Hill, but here's another Hall of Famer. Pete Rose. The Pete Rose Cello Pack. Alongside the, alongside the uh, Larkin and Jackson. So, Toby, we're doing well. And Goose Gossage. So, not bad so far. We got uh, Gary Matthews. The Raphael Palmero Future Stars, uh, Joe Hesketh, Mike Eastler, it's upside down, that's okay. We got uh, Randy St. Clair, tell me like this, a Wade Boggs <laughs> cello pack, so we're doing well, I'm liking this. Uh, Pete Incavelia, uh, Tracy Jones, Bruce Ruffin, Future Star, uh, Dodson, I can't remember his name. Pat Dodson, maybe. Once so we got Andy Andy uh, Hawkins, we've got Eric Davis, a sharp one. Uh, Rick Dempsey, um, Gorman Thomas, Randy Myers, Charlie Lee Brandt, and Scott Woodard, Tom Woodard, Mike Woodard. Okay, so there you go. We have a uh, cello box. We just wanted to, we're going to open some of these with like, we don't have stars on top, but wanted to showcase how cool, uh, there was a good deal. It was a very good deal that we got on this. Uh, so we'll put those stars on top there. Larkin, Jackson, uh, Pete Rose. Gossage, Wade Boggs, Barry Larkin. Uh, that's, I thought that was pretty cool. So there you go. That's rad to add to the collection. And Toby, let's get to today's show. We are busting open what? A Donruss uh, 93 triple play. Donruss 93 triple play. These are jumbos, right? And I always liked Donruss 93. I always liked, well, I didn't like Donruss's 92. Their premiere edition, but I did like these. This is how these would be displayed, just like that. And uh, so that's what Donner's 93 Triple Play looked like. Um, 32 cards in a jumbo pack. Um, we're going to open all these packs in here. I believe there's 16 packs of 32 cards. It includes one Gallery of Stars card. Here we have David Need, a guy who didn't pan out, but uh, there was kind of like their what? Uh, Diamond Kings. Those are Diamond King cards. And Triple Play was kind of aimed at a younger audience, but these also have um, a rub-off game card. And now, that obviously, you're not going to win anything on a rub-off game card today, but it might be fun to uh, open those up and see, and see. So today, for this video, we are only going to open one pack a piece. 
Okay. One big pack a piece, just to keep it. Uh, we're at five minutes already, and uh, so we wanted to show off our um, our eighty-seven cello box, which was great, right? Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's open up an eighty-seven cello. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. I want you to open it up. Now these are these are not um, foil packs, but they're not cello packs. They are. Pretty easy to open. Yeah. And let's go ahead and open up, pull out a random card, and let's see what we got. So this is what the card looked like. This is Mitch Wild Thing Williams, um, known for giving up the infamous home run against Joe Carter in the World Series. Oh, Whoa, you kind of pull yourself together there. You got the seat kind of going all over the place. There we go. Uh, so, uh, a nice black border, kind of reminiscent of uh, Donruss back in the uh, uh, 85, 86, 87 period. Um, the triple play logo at the bottom, the player's name, their position, and then their um, team logo. Notice that new Phillies logo that came out in that 92, 93 era with the Liberty Bell on it. Then on the back, a sweet looking picture of Mitch Williams and headband with some sunglasses. Little information about the player here. Um, set a new uh, the team record is 103 by Steve Bedrosian. There's probably a picture that pops up right now in the video. Um, and then how many? It, there's a math question. How many saves will he need to break the record? And it's backwards on there, 45. So getting kids to do math. Okay, like I said, this was kind of aimed at a younger audience, but I like the card. It had their last name on the back. Uh, some of the insert cards that were involved were the nickname cards, which I always thought were cool, uh, which uh, had the player's nickname as kind of a foil look to it. So the most valuable cards in here, what are some, most, some of the most valuable cards you think you're going to be looking for? What are the um, names? Well, I don't know much 93. Well, throw out some names we already know. Uh, Canseco. Canseco. Don Mattingly. Mattingly. Uh, Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire. Cal, Ripken, Ripken, Wade Boggs. Would Bo Jackson be Bo, Bo Jackson, 93, might be a little late. He kind of started to tail off there. Um, I don't even know. He might even have a White Sox or Angels card by this time. But, um, you know, your, your typical, maybe Frank Thomas, King Griffey Jr., those kinds of guys. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look and let's open your pack and see what we have here. So go ahead and read those off for us. BJ Serhoff. Serhoff. Ray Lankford, Kirby Puckett. So let's put that one over here, Kirby Puckett. Andy Bennis. Bennis. Danny Tartable, Jeff Brantley, Ricky Henderson. Yeah. Uh, Brian Harvey. Um, <laughs> Andy Stankowitz. Great name. Will Clark. The Thriller. Damon Barry Hill. Hill. Look Dave at, Henderson. Look at, look at, Dave and Ricky, side 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 plays cards. Um, John Orton, George Bell. New Dodgers. Who are the new Dodgers? We have uh, Tim Wallach and Jody Reed. Uh, there? Or is that Todd Worrell? Dodgers, uh, third baseman Tim Wallach, second baseman Jody Reed, who's on the back. And then, oh, Todd Worrell's not on there. We got the Joe Robbie Stadium. Do you know which team played at Joe Robbie Stadium? With this teal colored. Blue Jays? No. Marlins. Oh. It's the home of the Marlins. Okay. Yes. Awesome action. That is uh, nothing can change the momentum in a baseball game quicker than an outstanding defensive play. And that is Roberto Alomar. So that's a good one. John, John Wetland. Wetland. A lot of people didn't like the sideways card business. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Allen. Allen Hill, Todd Hundley, uh, Lou Whitaker. Sweet Lou Whitaker. Eric Davis. Okay, here's your Gallery of Stars card. We got Benny Santiago on the... Oh, is this the scratch-off? Marlins. There's your, yeah, action baseball scratch-off. So what let's, would that be? Let's take a look at what this is. I, now I remember these. Tigers versus Red Sox. And then you open it up. And the, maybe we could do one of these. Uh, the rule, three innings. Each player gets three outs per inning. Scratch off any of the boxes one at a time to determine if you get a hit or an out. Keep track of the outs on the scoreboard. 
Uh, use baseball diamond to track progress of base runners. Uh, use coins for base runners. Team with the most runs after three innings wins. So I think we save this, and before we open more packs on our next episode, mm-hmm. we 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 play the game and okay. see what happens. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. All right. So it's it's a it's a game. We got Roger Clemens. So this kind of counted as like a card uh, at, at the same time. That's cool. Joe Carter. I do remember those now. Equipment. The, the equipment. <laughs> There are many different techniques used to break in a glove, so it's all about breaking in gloves, and that looks like, uh, is, that, is that John Crook? Might be John Crook or Lenny Dykstra. Lenny Dykstra. Another Will Clark. We've got two in the same pack. Damon Berryhill, Dave Henderson. Look at this. Another. We've got some repetition yeah. even in the same pack. Mitch Williams. It's because there's probably so many. There's so many. Orton. Kevin Young. Okay. So, what do you think so far? Pretty good. You like them? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I will be opening my pack of cards. I always bought them in the 15 card packs. I did buy a ton of these. I spent a lot of money on my own, my own, I spent a lot of my own money on these cards. Got Doc Gooden, uh, David Valley, Jack McDowell, Black Jack McDowell. We got the mascot of the Pirates. Okay. See, it? I told you again, these were aimed at the younger audience, right? Yeah. Mascot cards. We got Terry Mulholland, Tony Phillips, Jeff King, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. Here we got a little Hot Shots card where they have a picture of the player like when they were younger. This, I'm going to take a guess. I think I remember this being Mark Grace. I am correct. It's Mark Grace. Hey, look at that, folks. We're talking 27 years ago. I remember that that's Mark Grace. Um, we got Eddie Taubensy. Hard hitting. Mark Witten. Mark Witten. Uh, Pedro Astacio. Tino Martinez. Eddie Murray on the Mets. I just I just realized, uh, I found out that Chris Berman used to call him Eddie Eat, Drink, and Be Murray. He said Eat, Drink, and Be Murray. That's Steve Avery. Brent Maine. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. Chuck, New Kids on the Knob Block. Uh, Steve Hosey, don't know that name. Ruben Sierra on the A's. Cool card. Got a checklist. Okay, telling us that the number the first card in here is Griffey, then Alomar, Ripken, Cecil Fielder. We got John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. Not uh Dom Glavin. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Jordan. Gallery of Stars is J.T. Snow on the Angels. So again, this guy never panned out. These were these were cool cards, though. I mean, I would have liked to have gotten better than J.T. Snow and yeah. Benny Santiago. Let's open, let's do that one last. Uh, Wally Joyner on the uh, Royals. Marquise Grissom, Scott Leyes, Matt Williams, Terry Steinbach, Tim Tuffle, Bob Wickman, who was a fantasy. Relief pitcher also. I mean, this guy, you wanted him on your fantasy baseball team. He had uh, six and one, no saves that year, but uh, this was before he was a closer. But Bob Wickman became a closer and he was great. Brett Barbary, notice drafted in 11 7 92. He's got an Expos jersey on, but a Marlins logo because in 1992, that November, the Marlins got to draft players from major league teams because they were the new expansion team. And so they would have a set of players. Players that weren't protected by their teams could be drafted. And one of the players was from the Expos. Brett Barbary was taken by the Florida Marlins. So interesting there. Uh, I didn't get much. I, you, I think you got more than I did on mine. So I got Gary Sheffield here on the Padres playing against the Dodgers. So that, that'll be the Dodgers and Padres and the Tigers and Red Sox on our next episode of Retro Breaks. All right? Yep. See how that plays out. All right, Toby, what do you think? What's your overall impressions of, of Donra's triple play? I think it's pretty good, you know? Yeah. I like the – it's not cardboard. It's it's like a – Yeah, it's like good, like good good quality paper. Yeah. Right? Go glossy, mm-hmm. right? So – Overall, like what do you think? Last, or yeah, is it their last names? At the last top? names at the top. top. We've yet to get a nickname card. Yeah. But I'm sure we will get one. We've got um, 12 more packs to open, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Until next time, Retro Breaks is out. <laughs>